Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to learn how to send emails directly from Excel, either manually or through VBA also. So first of all, for this, you must have Outlook installed, set up and opened on your system because Excel will be using desktop Outlook to send the emails. Let's first see how you can send it manually. So at the top, what you can, what you see right now is a quick access toolbar. And if you click on this, you will get option to customize this toolbar. So now we want to, so email is already selected here, but if you don't have it on your end, you just have to check or uh, select this and the icon will come here like this. Right, so since I already have it, this is checked here. So, uh, what you need to do is very simple now. Uh, you just have to click it and it will open up a new email with your existing workbook, which is in my case VBA training as an attachment. And all these fields will be blank to CC uh, body. But uh, subject line will come up by default, same as file name. So now if you want to send an email to anyone, you can fill in other details or modify the subject line also and then send it. So this was very easy and a quick way to send emails directly from Excel. You don't even need to go to Outlook and attach the file. It automatically comes here. Now. If we want, you know, everything getting auto-populated, for example, to CC, subject line, uh, different attachments, and then different email bodies, how we will do that. So that is not available in the inbuilt functionality of Excel, but this can definitely be achieved with VBA. So with VBA, we can send emails more dynamically, like have different email address, uh, and different email body along with different, uh, you know, salutations like uh, different first names and, you know, uh, different files for each client or uh, each uh, person whom you want to send the email. So on my screen, you already see I have prepared a table which I'm going to show you for sending emails dynamically. But before that, I'll also show you what code is inbuilt which excel is using so what we just did it through this this button can also be done through a vba i have assigned this macro send email from excel to this button so i'll just first show you how this is working right so this is same as what we uh, you know uh, you know saw in excel but the only addition thing is this email body, right? This is because I have written in the code this part. Okay, so I'll just give you a brief of this code. Basically, the first two lines are assigning variables as object, out app and out mail. Then I'm setting those variables. So I am assigning to Outlook application and to the new email which is going to create. So now with Outlook, you have all this uh, functionalities. So dot two is where I'm, uh, you know, you can mention your email ID directly here if you want it to auto populate every time, let's say testing at gmail.com or subject line would be test one and body is like hello this is test email and attachment is active workbook dot full name because i want to attach the active workbook so attachments dot add and then space and then you have this part and there you see dot display in the next line because i want uh, vba to display the email and not send it so you can also write dot send if you directly want VBA to send the email without showing it to you. Okay, so that's it. It's very simple. I'll just show you this, how this is running. 
right? So I got testing at Gmail, which I wrote in the to field. Test one I wrote in the subject field. I got the active workbook and I also got the body. Okay, so this was very simple. Everything was static, but uh, what if we want things dynamic? That is where we have our second code of today, which we are going to see. And don't worry, uh, you don't have to remember or you know uh, write these codes on your own. I'm going to show share these codes in description so you can use them. Okay, so next is sending email dynamic with dynamic inputs, as the name also suggests. So the more VBA is same, but the only difference you see here, I have give, assigned cells. So for example, for two field, I have assigned C4. For CC field, I have assigned C5. Subject line, C6. Body, C7 and attachments C8. Now there are two, three ways to attach. I have shown here. One is we already saw of active workbook dot full name. So it will attach the active workbook. Next option is you can directly add a path here. So if I want to add a path directly in this, I can do that. But because I wanted to show you guys how you can make it dynamic and pick the uh, inputs from Excel, I have written this as a dynamic input from C8. So now this will take path which is mentioned in C8, right? And again, I have mentioned it at display because I want to show you guys the email. But if you don't want to see the emails which you will prepare for your projects, you can directly write dot send here, right? Rest things will remain same. I have assigned this macro to this button Let's see how this comes up. Okay, so this is coming up uh, very nicely. Um, as you can see, I already have the email IDs and CC field, uh, test email, which was subject. And you can see the CSV file, which is the path that I gave it is taken from there. Also, you can see I have this body which now looks more uh, like an email earlier this was in the single line but now it is coming in separate lines so i'll show you how you i have done this in excel basically over here i have added through excel functions two character tens which are used for next lines so right similarly i can also write a few more i'll show you So let's say I'm writing thanks and then again adding few more lines and then writing. VBA. Okay. Let's see how this is coming up. Right. So as you can see, everything is now coming in different lines because I'm telling it to move to the next line, right? So this way you can make uh, it dynamic based on your requirement and use the Excel to send your emails. So again, I'll be sharing this codes in description. No need to worry or write this long codes. Uh, you can uh, simply copy and use it for your project. That's it for this video. I'll keep sharing more such videos so requesting you all to subscribe to my channel to keep getting latest updates. Share it with your friends and colleagues or family members. Uh, they can also this uh, wonderful tricks of VBA and uh, I'm sure they can use their in their business. Uh, thank you very much.